All right, now we're gonna address um, buffer capacity of a buffer. So basically buffer capacity refers to how much acid or base that you can add to a buffer without causing a large change in pH. So remember that the pH of the buffer is influenced by your pKa and your ratio of the, um, of the acid and the conjugate base, right? So the ratio though is not necessarily the concentrations. As long as you keep the ratio the same, you can alter the concentrations to alter your buffer capacity. All right, so um, let's see. All right, so obviously the higher the concentrations we have of these, then the more we're going to be able to um, resist the addition of OH minus and H plus to our um, buffer. If a buffer has equal concentrations of the acid and the conjugate base, that is considered the best buffer because it can um, counteract both acids and bases without changing pH. Okay, so in this example, we have got two buffer um, situations. Notice they have the same conjugate acid, I mean acid and conjugate base pair. The thing that's different is the concentrations. Okay, so we have a 1 to 2 concentration and a 1 to 2. So the ratio is the exact same. Their pH is the exact same. What changes is their buffer capacity. Okay, so buffer 1 and buffer 2 have the same pH. Okay, so it's definitely not that. Okay, um, so they both definitely have the same pH. But because buffer 2 has higher concentrations of the acid and the conjugate base, it is going to be better able to counteract more HCl before the pH is going to dramatically change. All right. So if you have a buffer where your ratio between your acid and your conjugate base is less than one, um, is it going to do better if you add added acid or added base to it? Okay, so if you have a situation where you have um, a value less than one, okay, what does that tell you? Hopefully you're going to tell me what that tells you is that you have a bigger number of acid than you do conjugate base, okay? And the acid is going to react best with a base, okay? So this particular buffer with a ratio less than one is gonna react better with added base, all right? A student states that all buffers of the same pH have the same buffer capacity. That is completely incorrect. Just think about the previous question. The ratio is what affects the pH. The capacity is affected by the actual concentrations of the acid and the conjugate base. 